Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about one of the most frustrating things in golf and that's under borrowing putts or missing the putt on the lowest side of the hole. This just shows that we haven't got our aim correct and we've and we possibly underread the putt and it's one of those simple things that we can fix very quickly with a few simple tips. So let's get started. <laughs> So the first thing I see people do when they miss the putt low is underread the putt. So what you want to do when you're reading a putt that breaks heavily is find the highest point of that putt. The easiest way of doing that is coming down behind the ball, looking at the putt generally from ball to target line, and then coming up to the highest point or the high side. From here you can start to see how far you need to go before you start coming back down the hill again, okay? So imagine you're working your way around in a sort of radius around the hole. You're gonna keep walking around until you find what feels like the highest point. As you get to that point, you're then gonna to start to feel the, where that ball's gonna break from. So we're gonna get a much better idea of how much break we need to play. Come back to the line of your ball. Have another look and spot where that point felt in relation to the ball to the target. So for me, that's gonna feel like here. So that is the highest point that I'm gonna pick for the break. So that's where I need to try and get the ball to roll over. The second mistake I see people make is the aim or their aim. So that always starts with the ball in my opinion. If you have it, you need a line on the ball. So a line on your ball, which helps you then line up with where you wanna hit the ball. Use that line and place it aiming where you want that ball to go. Once you're happy, so the next thing you're gonna align is your putter face with the ball. So right now I'm not even thinking about the hole. Once I'm happy with the putter face, I'm gonna line up my feet parallel and then I'm in my setup ready to make that putt. So that's it guys, that's how you're gonna make more putts. You're gonna read the putt better and you're gonna aim better. And with those two things, you're gonna start your ball online much more regularly and you're gonna make more putts. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that thumbs up down below. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button too. And there's a little bell icon next to it. Thanks for watching guys, stay safe and I'll see you next time.